So I think it's only fair to show you guys this pair of sneakers because I want to show you that not all customs that are made are W's. Some of them that I think are W's are actually L's and then some of them that I think are L's are actually okay. But at the end of the day, I like to try to create different things. Tried to customize this pair of sneakers, tried to do an ice dye on them. I tried to do it on a couple different shoes and sometimes the dye just does not absorb right and it's primarily because of the materials used to create the products. So this is one of those instances where Dude, it was a fail. And I did this months ago. Never showed you guys the results, but while I have you here, this is what we got. The blue purple beasts. Um, <laughs> I mean, so like I said, not all of them are W's and, and I got to basically share the results with you guys, whether or not it's a, a win or a loss. So I look at it and I'm like, yeah, it's, it's not good. Part of me is like, it doesn't look that bad. But then I'm like, man, the, the things that I wish I would have known when I was trying to customize these, number one is the materials. You just never know which ones are going to absorb uh, dye or not. And so you guys know, I tried to do a rainbow effect on here. So I had yellow, uh, red, and blue all mixed together like on ice that melted through and I tried to have it apply and it looked dope until I took and uh, rinsed them off and then all the dye just came seeping out of the product. All of the yellow came out, all the orange, all of the red, all the green. It just left it with a bluish purple goo left over. And you could see a little bit of the color left on the material on the tongue, which is also around this collar, this crinkly weird material, and also across the toe. You hear that? Material right there, like for some reason that absorbed pretty good, but it looks brown because it's just so muddy because I actually tried to do these twice. Um, and so that was a fail for sure. But at the end of the day, like it came out a little bit bluish purplish, the laces as well. And then a weird little disfigured colors uh, and disfigured materials, mind you, because it didn't look as bad when it was like that ch kind of chalk white color. But now that it's destroyed and distorted in this weird purpley goo mess, you know, I'm not proud of this one, but I definitely wanted to share it with you guys because, uh, yeah. I, I think that it's worth showing you guys that I destroyed a hundred dollar pair of sneakers for the sake of experimentation and, um, you know, just trying different things with different pairs of sneakers. If I could do it differently, I definitely wouldn't have used as much blue because that obviously took over everything on the shoe. And if I had a, a redo with these, I would probably just do a dip dye of synthetic dye. That way it would absorb to the synthetic materials on the upper because that is definitely where the problem uh, came in play here. Because I used natural dyes when I did this and natural dye doesn't stick to certain materials. Whatever this material is that they use for this ripped upper did not stick to it. So synthetic dye would have been the answer. I could still synthetic dye these probably all black and it would probably look okay. It might look better or worse than this. I don't know. But ultimately I put them on feet and I was like, they don't, they don't look that bad. I mean, it looks like some custom work that maybe didn't go perfectly, but I don't know. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Rate them out of 10. I'm going to give them a three out of 10 uh, for myself. Uh, if it would have finished the way I wanted to, it probably would have been a five out of 10. It wouldn't have been very good, but you know, at the end of the day, I've been trying uh, to do an ice dye on a pair of sneakers and I've only got it to work on like canvas uh, Converse Chuck Taylors a little bit. And that was pretty much it. But yeah, not an easy technique to do on footwear. There's just too many um, synthetic materials on footwear to really make it work out even if the base looked like it could work man i don't know i wish i could redo it but live and learn and this one was a fail and i'm willing to admit it and show it to you guys and so for those people wondering what happened to them i've been i've been hiding them in the garage until now i finally laced them and decided to show you guys but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video win or lose it was still fun to be able to create and try something new, which is part of the fun. I have a whole bunch of just random ideas that I want to do. I have another shaving cream dye video that I want to do. I did a pair of Ultra Boos back in the day, but now that trend has gone kind of crazy on TikTok, it seems like. But I've been wanting to do that with the family. I actually have the shoes in the garage already. I just haven't actually done it. I think the kids actually outgrew the shoes uh, that I bought for them to, to do this with. But any which way, I plan on doing that pretty soon. But stay tuned to the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I'm going to put these back in the box and hide them probably in the, the attic. Have a good one. Thanks again for stopping by and watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. Maybe a pity like for the $100 that I blew on these. Uh, but uh, hopefully we'll see you guys back for some more content soon. All right. Peace, guys.